kind invitation and great to be amongst a great set of panelists and a lot of people on the delegation of this uh, over here, overall. Um, so first, great to be back to Dubai. I lived in Dubai 2008, 2010. Um, as Chris said, I'm admitting to be an ex-banker with RBS. We had a lot of deals all over the region. Um, and my frustration with the financial industry is really that it's pulling back, right, when, when, they, when financing is needed most. But then from the ship owner's perspective, you have more choice than any time you did before. Before, it was just banks. But now, you have a whole range of financing requirements that can be met with different strategies, as uh, Bobby mentioned. So we all, like, uh, we all love numbers, so let me just give you some numbers about ILEX. So ILEX, I'm a, uh, a shareholder. Uh, as a debt ranger, financier, uh, ex-CFO for a tanker company, uh, worked for PE houses, worked for an asset manager. So I have a lot of experience, i.e. I'm old. That allows me to talk about this subject, and ILEX approached me about 18 months ago to see how we could enter the maritime industry with their platform. The platform has only been started or started four years ago, just before COVID. And what, what they're trying to do, we are trying to do, is allow funders to access markets that they cannot, access globally what they normally do locally. And the way we're doing it is through a platform. So we're digitalizing the loan origination, syndication, and trading process. Okay? So let's jump in. Numbers. On the platform, in the short space of time, we have over 31 or 31 of the top 50 book runner banks in EMEA and APAC. Of those, we have over 465 market participants. 58 of them are active sellers. Selling what? They're selling loans, okay, their loans on the platform. So we're partnered up with Refinitiv and S&P. The transactions you see there are deals that have been placed, and we've got 20 billion almost by the end of last year, of 495 different transactions. You can see it all. I think, uh, Trevor, these slides will be available or not. Yeah, okay, so you can, you can run through in your leisure. And then on our side, as you can see, the Middle East is uh, quite a short, uh, small uh, area at the moment, hence why I'm here. Um, but at the same time, if you look across, we, were, we started in Asia, and so hence the uh, SG um, uh, address on our uh, email addresses. But the critical thing here is the number of banks. 65% of the 495 are banks. The others are pension funds, insurance companies, private equity, anything that any entity, FI, that will lend you money, okay? Now, what, we've, what we're trying to do is, in a very short space of time, those people who want to have loans from different regions, okay? So if a Middle Eastern bank wants to have access to European assets, how would they normally go about it? They'd email, their phone call, but here it's on the platform. You just search, you just put your preferences in. As you can see from the numbers, they're impressive. Why? Because COVID was great from the perspective of what we needed to do, which was to connect people online, okay? And our expectations, just like when you decided what was WhatsApp, it just, it's a very big snowball effect. And once one bank goes on, other banks will go on and other FIs will, will join. And this is where we are seeing our uh, expansion. So these are the banks that have accepted to be market um, publicized, as you can see. And there's also lots of non-banking financial institutions on the platform as well, okay? And ultimately, all we're trying to do is make it efficient for the demand and supply to meet, okay? And that's what the platform does. So, we're here to about shipping, but shipping is only a small part of the platform. It's any loan, aviation, infrastructure, ports we talked about, um, working capital, trade finance. It's all there, because what banks are looking to sell is basically manage their balance sheet, okay? So, data, because we're partnered up with Refinitiv, there are 45,000 loans there already from the last five years. So, if you wanted to have data on a borrower, data on a bank that has done these transactions, you just click a button, it'll tell you exactly what the loan is, what the margin was, when the maturity date was. So if anybody wanted to buy, you just click a button and you inquire to that bank or FI, okay? Second part, ultimately, because it's connected, it's global, okay? 
you can just, somebody, somebody from Taiwan can look at a, a loan that's been done by somebody in London, right, very simply. And it's just by connections. And the modern part, you know, as we're in, in this room, the average age is probably high, right, therefore, but it's simple to use, right? And therefore, making it easy to conduct and chat with people. There's a chat function when you inquire. It's excellent, okay? So I, within my firm, we are all, 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 all also on the, on the platform. So we're placing transactions on there, okay, for our clients, okay? So as you can see, again, this is the home page. Very simple to use. Chat functions, you get an email confirmation. That you can imagine how much hassle we have to deal with when you're dealing with Japanese banks or any bank in terms of making sure the technology was secure. You have access to the market, the network, the portfolios, analytics, contact people. This is not the right forum because you need to see the demo, right, in reality. But I'm just giving you a high-level position of how easy it is to use. But you have loan origination as well as secondary part. So a bank, I think there's a few, only one bank here, but if you're looking to manage your loan down, you just put it onto the platform. You can put it down anonymously. You can say, do not send it to any European bank or any specific country. So it's the flexibility is there for anybody to use, for them to use. Uh, okay, let's move on. As you said, it's really about making it easy for you. So the first part about ILEX, let me talk about ship finance. So as a ex-banker and what we do is raise money and help people raise money across the um, industry. On, within ILEX, you have all these different parts on there already. And my job is to grow that green circle. Why? It gives more flexibility to everybody. And so, as you saw, our growth is going well. And hopefully, by the end of today, we'll have more interest from other people who join the platform. But the value to the, to the industry means that there's more capital coming in. So we have seen a huge amount of Asian-based banks wanting to do ship finance but they can't because they don't have the access to the owners who are, let's call it, whether they're in Athens or, the, or in the US. Here, they can simply connect and look at the deal that's been done or join with another bank that has already done a deal already and take a participation in that transaction. The other bit about the platform is really about preferences. So a Middle Eastern bank may just want to do Middle Eastern deals, fine. Then ultimately the transaction, just click a button to say only Middle Eastern deals only or non-UAE flag, or however you want to position your preference, and then you get the confirmation when the deal's been placed on there. So for us, it, hopefully, it's, a, it's definitely a growing platform. It's great for arrangers, because ultimately they put a deal on, whether it's an aviation deal, or a yachting deal, or a corporate jet deal, and you can get funding from that platform, okay? And you get inquiries. We're not stopping people picking up the phone. We're not stopping people emailing and calling each other. But what it does is stops wasting time. A bank doesn't want to see a deal that it's got no chance of doing. There are many, as you saw about ESG, there are banks that will not do tanker transactions. So why are people wasting their time sending it? So therefore, what we're trying to do is make sure people can in increase the amount of time they have with their clients and not going through the fluff of going through long RFPs and things like this, okay? So shipping, we covered um, the transportation side. But on the ship finance specifically, we year to date, or at the end of last year, 65 transactions were ship finance deals, okay? Some of them were secondary. So this is when a bank sells a loan, okay? But the rest of it was primary, new transactions on the platform. And hopefully you can see by the connections when people are connecting and talking to each other via the, the, the platform, it's working. So hopefully, thank you very much for your time. I'm happy to discuss anything about ship finance and ILEX thereafter but I think this is a valuable tool as we go through our digitalization of banking and loan origination and syndication. Okay.